Hi, and welcome to your Friday Extra. As you can see, today you're finding us at the Havana Room, an extension of Havana Cafe with some amazing ambiance. We are doing the cigar and scotch, trying out some new pitojo, Hispanic heritage, we gotta keep it real. And let me introduce you to some of our guests here and let them tell you why they're here. Tell me, introduce oh. yourself. <laughs> Hola mi gente, Epifanio Vargas from Gilco Realties. I'm just here to, you know, rub elbows for everybody else. People that have already worked with us and people that I'm looking forward to working with them as Kathy. I love it. Let's go over here. Hi. Tell me why you're here tonight. Hi, everyone. Jason Robinson, owner of The Living Room, are here to support the commerce. What is The Living Room? The Living Room is an event space located in Throg's Neck in the Bronx, New York, on Gill Place, right across the street from Brewski's. Awesome. You know, you got to visit there. Who are we looking at? Oh, my goodness. And who do we have here? Hi. Hi. Where are you from? American Mamis. And what are you here tonight? To network. And thanks to the Bronx Chamber of Commerce, I got another contract. Congratulations. Time to celebrate. Yes, Cigars and scotch is the way to go. Yes, it is. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm well, and now I'm better that you're here. And why are you here tonight, and where are you from? I'm with Nos Quedamos, and I'm here to do what everybody should be doing. Networking. <laughs> Love it. What a great ambiance, right? Absolutely. And with such wonderful people. My God, how fabulous. The drinks, the food, the people. Don't forget the cigars. Yes, yes. I guess I got to buy one, huh? All right. Sounds <laughs> like a fly to me. <laughs> okay. So you've met some of our networking friends outside enjoying this beautiful Havana room. But all of this is only made possible because we have the owner right next to us, Kevin Alicea. And let him tell you a little bit about what this room is all about. Hi, Kevin. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. Tell us. This is an amazing place. Well, what is this? Thanks for being here, doing okay. this beautiful event here. And that's why we're here. This is an event space, um, private event space. We call it a speakeasy inspired by the design. It, it I looks, love it. It's a little different and everyone seems to love it. It seems to be catching on. So we do all kinds of events from personal, business, corporate, schools, seminars, anything. That's fantastic. So you heard that, right? Speak easy. When was the last time you heard that in the Bronx? So we have to give a shout out to Kevin, the Havana Room. Tonight's about cigars, scotch, friendship, pitojo, happy Hispanic Heritage Month, and there's more to come. Great. Thank you, Lisa. And again, special thanks to our friends at the Bronx Havana Room. It was a great networking event, and we look forward to partnering with the Bronx Savannah Room on many more. So again, if you've missed out on our September networking event, be sure to be on the lookout for October and November. They're always a fan favorite. And on to legislative news. As many of you may have heard, yesterday afternoon, uh, the New York City Districting Commission, charged with the task of drawing the lines for the City Council District, uh, voted no on the pre prepared maps as they were in the process of moving forward to the New York City Council for review and feedback. What does this mean? This means that the Redistricting Commission will reconvene after the Rosh Hashanah holidays and determine next steps. The next steps could uh, include re-examining the district lines internally among the commission. They could include another round of public hearings. Uh, it's really going to be determined by the commissioners. Uh, so we look forward to seeing what next steps there are and how Bronx businesses can be engaged. Further information, as was noted in the Monday letter from Lisa, the congestion pricing comment period for the congestion pricing plan presented by the MTA uh, was extended uh, to September 24th. So if you have not already done so, please submit your comments on congestion pricing to the MTA. The MTA over the next several months will be reviewing those comments and creating a more equitable plan for how to implement congestion pricing in New York City. Additionally, Mayor Eric Adams released his New York City Management Report uh, for fiscal year 2022. This is a charter requirement that all elected officials uh, on borough-wide and city-wide uh, capacity have to complete. Um, it's included in the body of this email for you to review. And then lastly, uh, as many of you saw two weeks ago, the New York State Empire State Development launched the seed program for early stage businesses blocked from COVID-19 relief. This particular program allowed applicants who were just starting up uh, during the onslaught of COVID-19 to receive uh, funding, grant funding, uh, that they may have been previously blocked out from. Um, so if you were unable to secure a PPP loan, restaurant revitalization fund, etc., the seed program is really for you. 
Uh, the eligibility requirements are again in the body of this email, and we look forward to having as many of our members uh, tap into that funding to help their businesses as we go through economic recovery. And the two other items that are kind of prime for the pump are uh, next week, uh, we are uh, formally launching our Coffee and Conversation series with Council Member Julie Menon, the chair of the Small Business Committee uh, for the New York City Council. At the same time, Council Member Menon is also going to be announcing that the One Stop Shop portal, which we've been discussing for the past several months, uh, is going to be voted on and approved by the New York City Council. The One Stop Shop portal will allow for all of New Yorkers to really cut through the bureaucratic red tape and allow businesses and entrepreneurs to come online faster. So we are very grateful to Council Member Menon for all of her work and the team uh, in New York City Department of Small Business Services and New York City EDC and all of the City Council for their very hard Hard work at implementing this process that was part of the chamber legislative directory uh, sorry legislative agenda uh, that was created about three years ago so again our sincere thanks to councilmember Menon and we look forward to having this discussion next week as we delve into how we can make New York City a more business friendly uh, city welcome to all entrepreneurs legacy businesses etc so again my name is Michael Brady the chair of your legislative committee here at the Bronx Chamber of Commerce wishing you a great Friday